How y'all doing? Hi YouTube, it has been a minute. There are so many updates that I need to give you guys. I'm not even sure exactly where to start. Um, I'm in the middle of getting ready. This is Jimmy Choo Fever. This is like my ultimate favorite perfume. It doesn't make me feel nauseated. It smells so nice and sweet. And I like to layer it with this one right here. It smells so, so nice. I think I even showed you guys this combination the last time I was here. Um, so I'm getting ready to have breakfast, maybe do some work first and then um, head out for my riding class. I'm in my, what's supposed to be my office slash there's clothes in here and my makeup in here and my filming lights in here. It's my extra bedroom. <laughs> That's another update. So I, say, I don't know if you've seen them in the corner. They're running around. I have kittens. I have two of the most... <laughs> Playful, mischievous kittens. There is one of them. I'm going to introduce you guys to them in a bit. Um, I still take laundry home, so my riding pants, all my riding pants are in my mom and dad's house. So today to go for class, I'm wearing this unitard. Um, I wear glasses, so I can't see if you guys can see me clearly, but this is how. The unitard looks like it's one piece and the most exciting thing about this unitard is that i got it in a size extra extra small especially over here on youtube you guys know how much i rant when it comes to getting clothes everything usually just has to go back to pascal the foodie to fix it but guess what this is essential has got us British waves, you guys. They they said, "Come here, come here, we got you." And honestly, this is how they just instantly and a customer. And the good thing about this is essential. They literally like sell essential everyday pieces. So these are things that I know I'm going to get to wear. You know, every single day, day to day wear. Um, this unit is really comfortable. I can dress it up, I can dress it down. So this is going to be my road trip outfit, my <laughs> airport outfit. Today I'm going to test it out if I can use it to go riding because usually riding tights have some silicone over here on the side just to help with grip on the saddle. This of course doesn't have that. So I'm curious to also see how well that will work out. But this is also nice because sometimes I need to run errands immediately after my class. Then walking around in your full riding uniform, sometimes you can look kidogo funny. But with this, I feel like I'm just going to feel comfortable if I need to run errands after this. I'm just going to put on a... Let me show you guys. I'm just going to wear this on top to cover up a bit from the sun. It's quite hot today. Um, yeah, this is from the brand Mutindo Farasi. It's a Kenyan brand. They sell riding apparel and I really, they're like my most favorite brand. The only thing is that, hey, riding gear costs three million dollars. <laughs> So I usually plan myself and then I go buy an item, plan myself again, go buy something else. But I really love the brand. If you're uh, looking for somewhere to get, you know, Kenyan riding stuff. So I'm out to go make breakfast. Today for breakfast, we're going to have the OG combo because I'm back here on YouTube. The OGs, remember, I always used to have scrambled eggs and French toast. So I want to make that for good time, for old times sake. I've not had that combination since like probably somewhere last year. So yeah, let's go make some breakfast. So our breakfast is ready. I have my usual scrambled eggs and toast. I actually have a toaster, like this type of toaster, but I prefer when I toast it 
with the pan we have some fruit and then these carrots over here are going to my babies the horses all i'm doing right now is waiting for the dispenser to heat water so that i can put my tea i recently got this bottom bottom <laughs> bottom load dispenser this is how it looks like i've not used it for long so i can't give you guys like a review on it but the water goes over here in the bottom and then um cut things everywhere <laughs> and then now over here is where the water comes out i like this because now the cats can't come and press and you know remove water from over here here's one of the baby's kit say hi to youtube <laughs> I'm not sure where the other one is, but I think I introduced you guys to them a while back. Yeah, so that's it. I'm going to have breakfast. I'm waiting for the electrician to come in because my shower has a bit of a problem. And then I do some desk work and then head out for my lesson. So I'll see you guys at um, my riding school. I have arrived for my lesson. I'm late, like 14 minutes late, but I texted ahead. The fundi took way longer than he was supposed to and he still didn't even fix my shower so that sucks. I'm going to let you know when I'm back home and then he can come back. I always carry a banana because after the class I'm usually so hungry. Here is my helmet. I got it from... I actually can't remember the name of the shop but if I do I'll put it in the description. My carrots are here let's go for class i'm not going to vlog during the lesson every time a camera is out i just end up doing nonsense <laughs> and i want a nice easy class but i'm going to show you guys um the lighting is a bit weird i'm going to show you guys some of my favorite horses if they're in the stable and yeah maybe you'll meet my trainer he's a gen z <laughs> Being taught things by a Gen Z is very interesting, I must say. But yeah, let's go into the stables. Oh, it looks like most of the horses are in today. Oh, there's something on the screen. Hi. How are you? Let me show you guys. My favorite baby, her name is Ruby. Ruby. She's like the youngest horse over here. She's so cute. When she hears the carrots, I know she's going to come. Oops, sorry, I scared you. Hi, Ruby. How are you? Hi. Say hi to my YouTube squad. And then this is my other baby, Baluzi. Me and Baluzi are besties for the rest of you. Baluzi. Hey, mama. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Class is done. Um, I was on all night. That's that last horse you've just seen on camera. This is how my hair usually looks when I'm from riding. All this is just sweat. And by the way, I colored my hair. I can't remember the exact name of the color, but tomorrow I have a hair appointment. I'm going to do a treatment. Um, yeah, so I can ask for you guys what color we used in case anyone is interested. That's how it looks like um, Yeah, today's class was really nice. It officially marks a whole year um, since I started riding and I started training with OJ in uh, July, so it's about eight months right now and I think I, I really unlocked something different when I started training with him 
and today is the first time that I've really felt like a huge difference between my first day of training versus today. Like today I felt really comfortable on the saddle, like even when I was cantering around, I just felt like I can actually let go of the reins and nothing happens. Like I'm usually always hanging on to the reins. Today I was just like, woohoo! We're just cantering along and it was so, so nice. Um, we're about to start doing a lot of pull work and jumps, so I'm excited about that. I'm truly, truly excited. Um, one day, if I start competing, I'm definitely inviting all of you guys. Hey, Ama, maybe after I compete, compete Kidogo, <laughs> then I can invite you guys so that you don't come and cheer for me and then I'm number last. Hey, that one can be so embarrassing. Oh my god. So, yeah, I'm about to just quickly eat my banana and then we can head home we are back home and the kids are really home for the holidays and they're quite noisy let me lock this door over here so that at least some noise can be prevented from coming in and show you guys my pantry jars look at that it's so cute I don't know if I showed you guys that before of this drawer, but it was a mess. I did that and I also got some spice jars in here. They're not nicely arranged, but yeah, they're still very, very cute. Now I think I've locked one of the cards in the ventilation when I do open. Slaps, especially because I have some pili pili like I bought a really big bag of chilies I even had to distribute some to my friends and this is what I was left with and then that's what we're going to have I'm exhausted this is the bad thing about now riding days the rest of the day is kind of slow because I'm so exhausted and I need to go back to working out today I took a break for two weeks Q1 I was actually really really consistent q1 that was the longest i've ever worked out for so i'm proud of myself i don't want to lose like all the progress so today we must work out i've only been doing three times a week and it has been manageable so i'm not changing it we're just going to stick to three times a week so yeah let me end the vlog here allow me to do so so that i can edit it for you guys and i'll upload it tomorrow morning it's going to go live at 9 a.m um, and it's a Thursday coincidentally remember I used to upload my vlogs on Thursdays so yeah it's going to go up tomorrow um, I'm going to be going home for laundry drop off today as well and I hear that my brother is at home everyone moved out of home guys <laughs> my parents are just living la vida loca the two of them in the house <laughs> do whatever they have to do without considering children you know in the house so I hear my brother is also back at home visiting I hope he's come with the dogs he has three dogs two german shepherds and a poodle um they are very cute i don't know if i introduce them to you guys if i didn't i'm going to start the next vlog when i go home if the dogs are there just so that i can show you guys the dogs so yeah that is it for this week's video always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye guys